If you can hear me okay, this is Andrew Sheeler, digital editor with the World Newspaper, and uh, this is, of course, the uh, advertised Coos Bay Women's March. Uh, on the other side of the street, we have people as well. It's hard to tell. It looks like it's a mix of uh, protesters and people who are protesting the protesters. Um, I can say, as someone who attended the protests after the election of Donald Trump that this is a significantly larger crowd. I hesitate to speculate, but I would say that dozens and dozens of people is a good number. Or, you know, generalization of a number. Now this march is being advertised, uh, I should say this march is part of a national, actually a global um, effort, uh, indirect response to the election. However, uh, march organizers have repeatedly stressed that they are not so much protesting President Donald Trump as they are protesting some of the rhetoric which was employed by Donald Trump and the idea that uh, that uh, well, that, that women shouldn't have the same rights as men, I suppose. Um, it's kind of a, it's a smorgasbord of beliefs, essentially. You've got people from kind of all different spectrums of movements uh, who kind of have come together for this. So I, I, if I sound like I'm being vague, it's because it's such a broad kind of coalition of uh, people that I, I hesitate to just assign one one label to it. Step up a little higher, I guess, to give a slightly better vantage point. It's interesting, the difference here between the uh, protests after Trump was elected, uh, besides just the scope and scale, uh, I do not see and I hope I don't jinx this, but I do not see any Confederate flags this time. Uh, I have not heard any profanities being shouted at the protesters yet, but I am also only standing in one place. It's entirely possible that I am just uh, not hearing those. I apologize for any shakiness. That is entirely me. I am operating without a tripod. trying to give a sense of scope for this uh, protest. As you can imagine, uh, something like this is pretty big news and you can expect to see full coverage in Monday's edition of the World Newspaper. On, on me. Uh, this is video of the Women's March in Coos Bay. This is part of a global effort, uh, a pretty broad coalition of movements. Uh, it's called a Women's March, but I mean there's a variety of issues that are being uh, defended. Uh, LGBTQ rights, uh, defending education, uh, resistance to uh, a increase in racist rhetoric and women's issues, you know, 
abortion to uh, other reproductive rights uh, to a vocal opposition to misogynistic language. And I realize that this wind is probably really uh, making the microphone kind of sound bad, so I apologize. It is very windy out, although it's actually better than it was. Welcome to Coos Bay, Oregon. A lot of honking. Admittedly, I'm something of a short timer here. I haven't been here as long as many folks, but this is the single largest gathering of people that I've seen since I've been here. And I uh, did have the privilege of being present for stuff related to Jordan Cove and, as I mentioned before, the uh, protest after the election of Donald Trump. A whole lot of honking going on right now. It's been an eventful day here in Coos Bay. Um, there, earlier on, I attended a uh, Coos County League of Women Voters uh, roundtable discussion on the Electoral College. About that. The Electoral College, the uh, pros and cons of the Electoral College, uh, and the Coos County League of Women Voters reiterated their position, it's the National League of Women Voters position, that the Electoral College should be abolished. Now. I, you probably have heard your bill of electoral college, what is it, but just to reiterate, we don't directly elect the president in this country, we vote for electors who then elect the president on our behalf, and um, for a variety of reasons, the League of Women Voters has uh, criticized that process and called for Oregon to join the uh, national state compact of states that would if enough states joined, effectively end the Electoral College and institute a popular vote. Uh, this is, of course, pretty topical right now because the last presidential election, we had a split where uh, one candidate, Donald Trump, uh, won the electoral vote and therefore the vote that won him the office, while the other candidate, Hillary Clinton, won the popular vote and by a pretty substantial margin. Three million more people voted for Hillary Clinton than Donald Trump. So anyway, that was a pretty interesting workshop, and now here I am at the Women's March. Later on, there's going to be another event similar to this, I understand, uh, in North Bend. town the size of Coos Bay, I would call this a pretty healthy turnout. I mean, are we Seattle or Portland or Chicago or Washington, D.C.? No, obviously not, but for a town of 15,000 people, I guess 25,000 if you count North Bend as well, this is I've seen since I've been here, as I, as I mentioned before, and I did cover some of the Jordan Cove stuff that went on. And my phone has delightfully told me that uh, I am approaching 10%. 
what do you know, live streaming eats up battery like you wouldn't believe. So I'm going to wrap up this live broadcast. But you have a sense now of just kind of what, what's going on right now here in downtown Coos Bay. Uh, at 1 o'clock, there will be a protest in North Bend at the intersection of Virginia Avenue and U.S. Highway 101 uh, for those who might be interested in attending. Uh, otherwise, by all means, if, feel free to come down for yourself or check out our coverage in Monday's paper. I expect we will have an excellent spread of photos and maybe even some more video to go with it. Uh, if you were tuning in, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. This is Andrew Sheeler, digital editor for The World, uh, signing out.